Everyone was out to make a buck today, and in some cases, lots of bucks. Pimlico neighbors were selling food and drink, souvenirs, and even their own labor, carrying ice chests and coolers for Preakness goers. And for those who live right across the street from the track... You have 80,000 people walking across your lawn today. Yeah, I think that's fun. Yeah? See all them people walking across, you know, it's a big day, everybody's excited. You know, it's no problem with that, you know. The only way to go? How much? Ten. The big money maker today, parking. Everywhere you looked, people were turning their lawns into lots. The price for a prime spot this year, $10. In some places, it looked like a giant parking lot with just houses stuck in the middle. It's a lot, but, you know, it's a good time today, and unfortunately, one of the guys we came with has to leave early, so we needed a spot that we can get out. And this is a so, prime location. Oh, yeah, it's great, right across the street. But isn't that a lot of money for a parking space? You park on the grass, you got to have money, you know, to fix the grass back up. You can't just let it go like that. You got to have your yard looking nice. Being so close to the infield, it's easy to guess why it does cost so much money to park here, although $10 does seem to be the going rate in the area. And the folks here say they can get about 100 cars crammed onto this lawn. At $10 a car, that's a nice sum of money to be making in a day. At Pimlico, Michael Shockett, New Scene 2. When you see the horses running and you see the railbirds lined up and you see all the cash passing hands, it's hard to believe that Pimlico and the three other racetracks in Maryland are hard pressed to turn a profit. But apparently they are. So the Senate and the House have passed bills that will take two cents more out of each dollar bet by racing fans and return that money to the tracks. While Pimlico officials are pleased to be getting that extra 2% because every penny counts, they don't consider it a long-term solution to the track's financial problems. If the prices keep rising, the cost of doing business keeps going up, I don't see it as being the end of it. Uh, first of all, there's a new labor contract coming up January the 1st, and I don't know what their demands are going to be, but this, this extra money that that the state has uh, awarded to, to the tracks, which doesn't start until January 1st anyway, but it will cover some of those costs. I, I don't think it will cover enough of it. Track officials at Pimlico and Laurel believe the only long-term solution to their money problems is to consolidate. They would like to close down Bowie and the fairgrounds track in Timonium, then divide the season between the two big tracks. As it stands now, officials at Pimlico say it would be losing money if it weren't for the Preakness. And in the future, it may not be a big enough draw to keep Pimlico out of the red. Jim Boyle, New Scene 2.